Hello everybody, it's Melissa, the Unlikely Hiker. Today, I'm at 13th Lake in the Southern Adirondacks, and we're gonna hike along 13th Lake. There's a few campsites, but I have my eye on Puffer Pond Lean To number two. So we're gonna see how far we get. Ruby kind of wasn't feeling it this morning. We might stop a little bit sooner and make camp, but I kind of had my eye on the lean-to for tonight. There's a chance of thunderstorms, and I forgot all my rain gear, so yeah, it'll be fun. Well, let's see what we find. This is a very popular area with the lake, and there's a lot of campsites. There's quite a few cars in the parking lot, but um, we're going about six miles, so I'm hoping to kind of get away from some people. Anyway, let's go. Another weekend out. This is great. Hello there. Fancy meeting you out here. All right. That river is flowing. So we're about halfway to um, Puffer Pond. That little disc right there. You don't see too many of them. It's the North Country Trail. You don't really hear a whole lot about it. So we've got two and a half miles to Puffer Pond, so that's not too bad. We're making really good time. The trail is pretty mild. Uh, there was one spot with some elevation. Not too bad though. Uh, we did get stuck in a rainstorm. I think you can kind of tell. Uh, not a big deal. Doesn't seem like anybody's really been out here. The trail is slightly overgrown in some spots. So we've got two and a half miles to where we're going. I thought I'd just give you guys a visual of the beautiful southern lowland Adirondacks instead of my face for a change. 
anyway let's get going i'm kind of glad that i'm headed to a lean to there are two lean twos i would like to stay at puffer pond number two i have never been out this way so i don't really have a reason for wanting to stay in that lean to other than on a map it looked good so this is going to be fun there's no bridge and um, there's a lot of water here i got to get the dog across so hopefully i'll be able to otherwise we're going to be turning around so as you can see the bridge is out it doesn't look that deep this is an obvious place to cross but you can see there's been so much water recently i'm gonna find a spot that's a little bit more shallow that's safer for me my camera my phone my dog normally you could just bump 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 but uh not today This is lean to number one. It's a little slanty, but it would do the job. We're gonna go check out lean to number two and hope that we beat whatever storm I hear thunder from. This is lean to number two, much sturdier. Not right on top of the water though. Photography isn't quite as ideal. So after going back and forth between the two lean twos, lean to number two is nicer. It's fairly new, but it doesn't have as nice of a view as the lake, which I'll show you in a minute. This lean to does uh, need a few repairs, but I'm pretty sure we'll be okay. I'm pretty sure the lean to should not have holes in the roof like that. The ceiling is kind of caving in here. You've just got the um, tiles up there. Look at, you can see the tiles. Um, you know, it's a little drafty. It, it's obviously in need of repair. Look at this wonderful view.
This is quite beautiful. Slanty. So this will be our home for tonight. I was kind of looking for the open skies, which is why I decided to come back. So anyway, there is absolutely nobody out here. Nobody. I, I couldn't even tell you the last time somebody probably came out here. I'm going to check the book inside the slanty lean to and um, take a peek, see who's been out here. But it is absolutely gorgeous. Do you see that? It's like boiling. Did you hear that? Either that was a thunderstorm or the aliens just invaded. All I see is blue sky from where I'm at. So back to the mosquito repellent, the thermosol mosquito repellent backpacker version. This thing seriously works. So that mosquito repellent thing really does work. I had a bunch of mosquitoes flying around here and these little bee looking things, I don't know what they were, and they're gone. I think the only thing I'm, I'm concerned about is using all my fuel for this and not getting a hot dinner. But gee, it might be worth it. I don't know. I know the camera isn't doing this justice, but it is dark. It's starting to rain right now. I, I really don't know what she hears. Stop! Her bark is echoing across the lake, so I don't know what her issue is. The rain seems to have passed, thankfully. There's still some dark clouds over in that direction. So I just decided to start my dinner having some nor rice sides. I think it's the chicken rice. And this is pretty yummy. I don't know where I got it from. Treehouse chocolate. Drinking chocolate as opposed to hot chocolate. So I've had this forever opened and I decided I was going to finish it. So I'm just going to sit here and sip my chocolate. So a little bit about the trail today. It was just about a six mile hike in. We followed 13th Lake out to the Puffer Puffer Pond Trail, Puffer Trail, something like that. Um, this is pretty remote back here. You could follow these trails in some different directions and make some interesting loops or out and backs or, you know, spend a few days. The trail was actually really great for the first five miles. Really easy to get a pace going. We made it here super fast. I was probably averaging about three miles an hour until that last mile it was overly saturated and i'm talking like shoes sucking mud so that slowed us down just a little bit uh not too bad because my feet were already wet because i had to cross that stream it was exceptionally easy to hike back here to such a lovely remote area so i've got my wonderful guard dog ruby with me so i am not afraid of any animals nor am I typically afraid of any animals for that matter. I found a tree to hang my food from. It's not really, it, it's not far enough away from the lean-to though. I'm telling you, anybody that says in the Adirondacks you can hang a bear bag so easy, blah, blah, they're lying to you. At least I didn't get my rope stuck 15 times like I did last time. That sucked. It took me like 45 minutes. This time it only took me about 10. Progress. So that's pretty much it. Um, it's, it's pretty much a walk through the woods. Um, you're following 13th Lake, which is actually a really big lake. It's really nice. There was quite a few people enjoying the weather today, uh, kayaking and everything. There's a couple campsites on the opposite side of 13th Lake that you can paddle to. In the meantime, I'm gonna enjoy my hot chocolate 
I'm going to wait about another 10 minutes for my dinner. And yeah, I'm going to enjoy the quiet. So, you can see the clouds back there that passed. It is profoundly quiet here. I'm wondering if there's going to be any loons. Hey, Loobster. I've yet to hang the bear bag because Ruby is still hungry. She just ate dinner number two. Hi, Rube. How you doing, girl? You going to sleep in a lean-to tonight? She said, what the heck is a lean-to, Mom? I'd like to go home. I think she'll be fine. She's got her little bed back here. I threw a towel in today. I figured she'd be wet. Hi, baby girl. Are you a good girl? Oof, I used the code word good girl. So that's it. That's good night for now. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning. My biggest fear in lean twos is, is mice. And I'm not afraid of mice per se. It's mice chewing my stuff. And I had a little light hanging. No sooner did I shut it off, this mouse come popping up. And my face is like right in front of the, the lean-to door, the opening. So it was like a foot from my face. So I banged the lean-to. He ran away. Dog figured out that there was something there and I don't know it's kind of funny so I turned the light back on you know oh, oh what happens when I'm asleep I don't know there was a beautiful full moon last night and the way this lean-to is situated the full moon just crossed the sky right in front of me all night. So that was beautiful. I tried to get a couple pictures of that. And then I woke up at like five and the moon was setting and it was gorgeous. It was like this deep yellow color. I tried to get a picture. You know, pictures don't just don't do nature justice. I'm gonna have breakfast and I will check back with you later i wrote a note in the book in the lean to i guess there's been a a bear around here just wanted to show you this really spectacular view i mean check this out in all the lean tos there's always a book right there uh, the last time somebody was here was July 6th, and it sounded like they spread their father's ashes or something. A little creepy. Um, it looks like this lean-to gets used about once a month. The Puffer Pond Lean-to West Adopter stopped by to see the condition of the lean-to, and he said he was hoping that it could be saved because it's slanty. I'll show you. Um, I do hope they save it because I came back here because of the view and I don't regret that at all. So you can see how slanted it is. Not only is it kind of slanted backwards a little bit, which it's the floor is not slanted, but the sides are slanted somehow. See, it's pretty pretty obvious here. There's a trail junction there. 
Um, but this last mile uh, coming here last night, it was absolutely saturated. There is zero chance of having a clean dog, but there's also zero chance of me keeping my feet dry. I do have a third pair of socks, thankfully, and flip-flops for the car ride home. But uh, I have that river crossing anyway, so I'm not really concerned about One minute out and the feet. There's a couple reasons I've been highlighting some of these smaller, lesser known trails. One reason is Ruby. She's not ready for big mountains, big miles, or big views like that. Um, the other is there's a lot of other things to see in the six million acres that we call the Adirondacks. So I'm trying to see what else is out there. And it's nice. a little bit more. I just wanted to say thank you for watching and supporting us and I hope you're getting out and living your life. <laughs>